All right, we got some breaking news. It's Charles Bay here talking about the new world order of finance, cryptocurrency transparency. Um, so, like I said, inflation speeds up poverty and you have no time to wait. This is uh, from Decrypt.co. Yesterday, the office of the comptroller of the currency the, of the government issued... Um, permission to banks to start accepting cryptocurrency payments. So it says, uh, this is by Jeff Benson, uh, January 4th, 2021, U.S. Treasury to allow blockchains, stable coins for bank payments. The Office of the Comptroller of the Currency issued an interpretive letter that could help make crypto payments mainstream. So here's the initial breakdown. I'm going to put the links in the bio and in, in the description um, to decrypt.co to this article and then also to the official website of the OCCC.gov. Um, so in brief, the breakdown, the OCC, the Office of the Comptroller of Currency, is an independent bureau of the U.S. Treasury. It has issued guidance stating that banks may use blockchains and stable coins to facilitate to facilitate payments. The OCC has come under scrutiny from some litigators for its pro-crypto outlook. Yeah, but they have no choice. So we're, we're going to talk about that. The Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, the Bureau of the U.S. Treasury Department, charged with regulating banks, has stated that banks may use stable coins and blockchains for payments. In an interpretive letter issued today, the OCC clarified that as long as it complies with the law, and sound banking principles and National Bank of Federal Savings Association may validate, store, and record payments, transactions by serving as a node, okay, on an independent node verification network. Basically, that's just a blockchain. The nodes are, are the computers and the servers that are processing the transaction in the code with hashtags attached, making the transactions transparent. Basically, that's what a node is. Likewise, a bank may use Independent Node Verification Networks, INVNs, Independent Node Verification Network, and related stablecoins to carry out other permissible payment activities. Acting Comptroller of the Currency, Brian Brooks, a former Coinbase executive, indicated in a press release that the move is about leveraging the cryptocurrency industry to keep pace. While governments and other countries have built real-time payment systems, the United States has relied on our innovation sector to deliver real-time payment technologies. The letter makes this clear, noting that as financial intermediaries, banks face competition to move funds faster. In the OCC's eyes, INVN, such as blockchains and other distributed ledger technologies, are a way of efficiently and speedily moving funds. Moreover, the letter states that banks may issue stable coins as they might debit cards or checks and exchange them for fiat. The OCC makes it all sound hunky dory. Banks have long used cashier's checks, traveler's checks, and other bearer instruments as a means of facilitating cashless payments. Jeremy Allaire, co-founder of CEO of Cir co-founder and CEO of Circle, which operates the USDC stablecoin, struck a more emphatic note. He tweeted, "This is a huge win for crypto and stablecoins." He added, "We are on a path towards all major economic activities being executed on chain." It is tremendous to see such forward-thinking support from the largest regulators of national banks in the United States. Though the OCC has taken a, a, a solidly pro-crypto stance when it comes to financial innovation, as it notes repeatedly in the letter, it, its latest missive comes amid regulatory uncertainty for the cryptocurrency industry. In mid-December, a separate Bureau of the U.S. Treasury, the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, Proposed rules requiring money services businesses, including banks and crypto exchanges, to record report cryptocurrency transactions to, to private wallets if they meet a certain dollar threshold. Good luck. The period for pu uh, public comment, which span multiple federal holidays, ends today. While the proposed FinCEN, that's the that, that's uh, Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, FinCEN rules would in no way be mutually exclusive of the OCC rules issued today. It does not. Indi it does indicate the general air of uncertainty, particular, partially stoked by the unveiling of the stablecoin tethering and bank licensing stable act early 
last month. The bill introduced by Rep. Rashida Tlaib in the House of Representatives would regulate stablecoin operators like banks. Okay, so you can you can read this. I'm going to put the, the articles in here, right? But basically, the uh, comptroller of the currencies of the U.S. Treasury is now saying that banks can accept cryptocurrency. The U.S. dollar is going bye-bye. They're trying their best to try to keep people inside of the regulated system to keep them slaves. Um, you know, and, and 80% are. 80% are, are not going to read. They're not going to educate themselves. They're just going to follow what, what they're told to do, not knowing that the power to extricate themselves is right there in their hands. Okay. So very big news in cryptocurrency. You guys do not have a lot of time. Take action. Get it together. Move swiftly. Hit me up if you're interested in consultations um, or mentorship. All right. See you on the next video.